That should be good, Bree. Let me know if we are live. Oh my god. So my last attempt. Yo, it's so irritating. <laughs> okay, we should be good. Are we good? Does it show that we're live on the channel? Live in seven minutes. Oh, we're good. We're good. Okay, going back to where we left off. This is going to be a pain in the asshole to edit because I have to add. Well, you can't edit. So we just lost all that beginning part. Great. So let me just introduce everybody to, that's on the panel. On my right, I don't know what you're looking at. Is vaping with Vic. He's got a pale background. He's been smoking lots of cigarettes. Why it's yellow in the background. You got do it yourself or die who has really been mixing up a lot of juices. And then you got Mr. B in the corner who has ate all of his vapes. That's what we got. And that's where we're at. <laughs> Good. So we're going to take off where we left <laughs> off. So um, I don't even, what were we talking about before when we, when we got. DIY, more people using it. And then Mr. B tried to steal the convo when you were. Talking. He did. He tried to snatch it up on me. <laughs> yeah. He tried to snatch the convo. <clears throat> He's putting out um, fires, man. That's what I did. Oh yeah. About who you are. You're an entertainer. And then I, I don't even know what we were talking about at that point. Um, well, you basically asked me, what do I consider myself as a reviewer? And I just, you know, I'm not a pigeon home. I know I am what I am. Right. And uh, like, hey, there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that. We all start somewhere. Oh, that's right. You were saying about getting the amount of subs that essentially uh going in the in whatever, twenty thousand, thirty thousand. But the thing is what like UK vapor viewers, they don't they don't really get crazy numbers that you see. Well, I mean, even now in the States we don't get those numbers. You no out of the hundred and ninety five thousand, and even Wayne or, or even Vic can comment on this that we, you don't get the amount of views that you have subs. Think about no. how many people you've subscribed yeah. to that you don't even watch. So absolutely, the the numbers I mean, are astronomical. At the end, I'm not, I don't do this for subs. I'm not doing this to like become famous. I'm I'm, I'm a legend enough. The 36 year old and at my size, I should be dead. So I'm a legend. Right. And at the end of the day, I do this because I love it. And that's that's how everyone treats it. Don't you laugh at me, Vic. No, you start giggling, you. <laughs> so, if you, so, so, you know, a lot of people say that, that they don't get into this for the money, for the fame. But, and, and look, I, I've used the argument that I believe I am famous. Some people say that you, you can't be vape famous. I'm going to quote uh, Heathen there. Uh, keep in mind that that guy creates strippers and he doesn't even exist. But that's another story in itself. <laughs> um, <laughs> whatever, moving forward. Oh! Um, I, well, I, I think that it comes. I think that it comes with, I, I would have to say that in the vape realm, you, I, I don't know about now, but I could tell you that what it used to be was astronomical numbers. You know, we're talking, if we're at, if we look at the most amount of views that I ever got a month, I'm going to do subs. I'd say 4,000. Now I'm lucky if I could even go over 900. It's, yeah. it's, it's definitely low. Definitely. And I, I feel that the more we go on with this, the more PMTAs, the more laws, the more scrupulous activities, whether that is more coronavirus, essentially that's, I hate, I hate saying this and I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy, but in America, vaping, for lack of better terms, is dying fast, fast or slow. I guess it depends on how you look at it. How do you, See, feel, how do you feel about that, Wayne? Do you agree with that? I, kind of, yeah. I don't I don't know if dead is the correct term. I think the industry that we knew is dying and will die a slow death. I don't, I don't think it'll be quick. I think we still have a few years of teetering off. I, really, we're not going to see a, a true death until something like the FDA coming down on a small company something like that that shocks the industry and everyone starts to pull out then i then i think that'll happen what or i do joe expect, biden bonds up or or joe biden or his administration or dick durbin it, it's bipartisan there's bipartisan support to ban vaping in the u.s oh, yeah. and i think what will ultimately happen you'll see a constriction of craft enthusiast vapors it's going to be quite small we're all going to share that market it might grow a little bit depending on how things are but it's not. We're not going to live the, the 2014 days like we 20, used to. I'd say, 20, I'd say 2016, 2017 was the peak. The, the it was massive. I mean, oh it, my it god, was, it wasn't even real to to really try to 
attain that. Like it right. just can't get to that level. Right. And um, I'm not too upset about that either. I think the people that the content creators that really want to make content that innovates and that captures that audience that people want to watch, they'll continue. You have to find a way to monetize it. Cause I know a lot of people say, uh, you know, I don't do it for the views. I don't do it for the money, but you also wouldn't do it if no one watched, you know what I mean? Like you, you, you need that, you need that trade. Nailed it. So I think, uh, as long as you have a small audience that's dedicated and that's willing to pay for good content, if you put out good content, there will be a small audience that is willing to pay for it because there's just not going to be any otherwise. Let me let me interrupt you real quick there, Wayne. Why is it though, right? Like you just, oh my God, bro, you gave me the goosebumps. But why is it, <laughs> right? That little bit you just said was so fucking powerful. Now, most yeah. people will will downgrade that and be like, oh, it's all about the money. But you, you have to understand, right? Like let, I'm going to use you, for example, right now, Wayne. Look behind you, right? You have drawers of shit, right? Of all these flavors. Where the fuck does that money come from? Like it has to come from somewhere, right? right. When when people are like, oh, you got you, you have the passion. I have a passion for vaping. Everybody knows this. You see right. how dramatic, I don't know if any of you watch any of my videos, but I get dramatic. I get into it. I get excited when I see something new. So, and I don't think that will ever die for me, but I'm just saying that the world that we knew it, well, let me go back to what you're saying, but mm -hmm. why is it that you, you mentioned that about paying for content or seeing content that, no, uh, I'll, right. I'll repeat that. I, I don't know if it's like a, I, I think there's like this old sort of thinking about content. You know, if you're an independent content creator, your job is to create good content for your audience. Like your job is to make them entertained and to be excited. Your job is not to have a passion for vaping. Your passion for, va for vaping will translate into creating good content, hopefully. You know, not everyone's cut out to do it. Not everyone's entertaining. Not everyone is willing to invest in the cameras and the lighting and all this stuff to make it something that is willing to be paid for. Um, and if you can do that, then I think, you know, you most certainly should ask your audience and say, look, this is a smaller industry now. I can't do this unless you guys, you know, help us out. So I'm going to create the best content that, that I can. If you're willing to pay for it, then we have a good, uh, relationship and we can keep this thing going for a long time. Otherwise it's like, you know, you can have as much passion as you want, but if you're taking a hit on it, if you're in the red, you're not going to be making that much content. I've seen and many then the passion is going to go down. And passion yeah, now because exactly. your bank account goes down. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so now you're thinking about being depressed. I can't even fucking buy ramen soup. So what makes you think I want to buy a vape, right? Like, so, yeah. yeah. It's, I, I, it's a valid point. It's a valid point. Yeah. But that's an art. For those of you that are tuning in that we keep breaking up, that's on me, man. Uh, I got Brie cranking up the ham radio. Her legs are getting real tired. <laughs> so whatever we have is what we have. You have to deal with this dial up. Uh, Times are hard. Times are hard. Like Wayne's saying, I, I can't push the membership hard enough. You have to help me pay the bills so we can provide content for everybody else. Get off the bike. Yeah, just so I can get Brie off the treadmill to pay for the power. Um, and and I, th I think that's I think that's automatically a negative thing. Like, let, let me give you guys an example. Like the Vupu video I did, right? It's the first video, right? Now, I, I'm sure you guys didn't see it, but I'll just tell you what happened. It's the first video where a company actually paid money for it, right? Paid money, do the review, right? We, This is no secret. This is industry standard, whatever. But in the video, I knew that I didn't like the product. And I, I made that very fucking clear. And I also predicted what I think Vupu is going to do. I think they're going to do a chargeback because... They expected, they told me, I, I don't know if you've ever seen this, Vic. I know do it yourself or die. You don't, you don't really do vape videos, right. right? Yeah, I do mostly the DIY stuff. Right. I don't really okay. Do. So Vic, you I guess you could kind of relate in a sense, Mr. B. You're just hanging out. I get it. Vape on. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, I, the, I knew that when I did it, they told me, we don't want you to compare this. Okay, first off, don't tell me how to do my fucking video, number one. Yep. Okay. Then they <laughs> said, we don't want you to mention this at all. Yep. Okay. Uh, any other fucking demands? We want you to have the video <laughs> up at this day. We want you to make sure that you do not mention, get ready for this, any other product. What, why do you not? So you want me to do a review of a product, right? Let me... Let me just go along with this right now so I can get this. You want me to do a review for a product and not mention anything else that you've ever made? Only this product. Why? 
what why can I not mention something else? But that as I tough. opened it up, I realized because it's the same fucking thing that you yep. did yep. on the drag X and the drag S. You didn't want me to mention that. So what do you want me? You want me to just promote shit for seven hundred dollars. That's what you want me to do? No, 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 no. No, you got me fucked up for somebody else. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> So I know what's going to happen there. If they don't do it, they'll never, ever, ever send me another product again because I was honest. You want someone to fucking highlight your shit, send it to Rip Trippers, send them 500 bucks. I'm sure he'll love that shit forever and tell everybody how fucking fantastic it is. Oh, yeah. The, the thing is, though, and I've, I've said this before. Yes, these companies might not like the fact that you are honest. But the people that watch your video, myself included, I mean, I'm a paid up hazer. Respect the fact that you're honest about it. Right. There, there's going to be people out there that go, oh, no, he's not really. You go, of course you are. This is daft. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's, I'd be surprised. I'd be very disappointed if Fupu did that to you. I'd be very disappointed. No. I have a lot of respect for Fupu at the moment. No, no, no. That it, it's every, I don't know what's up with Vic, but Vic is looks really weird on my screen. He looks like he is changing fucking colors. Uh, <laughs> fucking Logitech. Hold on. Do, <laughs> you, do you guys see it? He looks like he's got a disco ball on his face. Yeah. Do it up, man. Starry night. Uh, you look fantastic, Vic. Keep it up. Uh, <laughs> You know, Take um, me to your <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else sees that? It's, I see it on the YouTube. Yeah, like he's all fucking weird. Uh, so oh, anyway. It's actually entertaining. It is entertaining. Just leave it going. They're just people don't know what they're looking <laughs> at. It. it looks like Rainbow Bright is jizzing all over your face. That's what it looks like. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know if that's me or if it's you. Hold on. Let me check. No. It's nobody else. No, I think it's you. I don't see it on my Skype. Oh, now he's gone. Hold on. Okay, is it fucked now? There we go. Now, yeah, now you're good. Okay. Um, yeah, and it's it's like it, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, Mister B. It, it is going to happen. It is. There, there have been. It, and look, everybody needs money. I get it. I do. But and the, again, this is gonna sound like a really asshole comment. But prior to us going live, I was talking to Vic. I said that you don't see a lot of reviewers doing a lot of reviews anymore. You just mm. it, whether it is passion, whether it is money, no matter what it is. The the even look at the views of the people in here. Three seventy. I used to do inside the minds nine hundred, a thousand people inside of a stream. Now you're lucky if you pull four to five hundred. It's it. And again, that might be that the industry is dying. It might be that it's not so promoted. I, I don't know what it is. It's just it's a it's it's not a positive road. It's a it's a it's a great road. You know, you're quitting cigarettes and you. And you're vaping it up. That's fantastic. But as far as a career, I don't know if that's what you're trying to do, Mr. B. But, um... Do you know what it is? I just want some friends. I'm such a lonely fat bastard. I just need some friends. <laughs> do you know how sad so, that... Are you serious? Oh. <laughs> Yo, you just... You melted my soul a little bit. You just need a friend? Oh, oh. The, oh the, my the, God. The daft part is... Oh. A little bit to that is actually true. Now, the daft part about that is... When I started doing review, I, I used to do game reviews, which got me nowhere because you used obviously to do I'm not game reviews. <laughs> used to do. Used What's to a do. game like, review? Game. Oh, game, game, game. I can't understand game. the fucking words you're saying, man. I feel like I'm talking to Shrek. Go ahead. So I used to do gaming reviews. I do game reviews all the time. You know, I love the handbags. It's fantastic. <laughs> Super. Go ahead. Uh, but no, the, when it, the thing is, I create so far when I switch to vaping. I've actually created quite a few friends out of it. Now, yes, I know money's nice. And yes, getting paid to do this stuff would be lovely. But at the moment, I'm happy doing it in my usual Lancastrian way where we just I spend as little as I possibly can do to put out decent content. I had one geezer tone put saying, why aren't you buying all the latest gear? Well, motherfucker, you buy the gear That's and I'll right. be I'll, yeah. I'll it for you. But at the end of the day, it's, it's fun content. And it's... I've created a little community. You know, I've got the the vape platoon. It's not quite an army, but it's a platoon. And, and we all get together on the lives and we have a laugh. And I think when, when we talk about vaping is dying and things like that. Now, I like to look on the optimistic side. Not many do, but I like to. And I think Order 66 has gone out. They're trying to kill off vaping just like they did with the Jedis. 
But I think there's going to be a rebellion soon where people are going to get pissed off with all this flavour banning and all that. I'm going to go, you know what? Screw the government. We're going to do it anyway. And I think that's on the horizon. I like to think so anyway. Wait, did you say kill them like the Jedis? Or the 66, man. You don't. Oh, what no, the fuck is no. this? What is the, what is this Star Trek we're talking about now? No, it's not Star Trek. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> no, no, stop! Don't get stuck. Oh, did I just piss everybody off calling Star Wars Star Trek? <laughs> Fucking good! <laughs> Fucking good! Because you know what? All the shit that I get for my reviews, I'm putting the hate back on you. Uh, um, so what is what is Order sixty six? What is that like a, a food group or something? Uh, order, order, I wish it was, it'd be my kind of order. But Order 66 <laughs> is basically the order that was given out by the Emperor to kill off all the Jedis at once. And what are the Jedis? The good, the bad guys? Good yeah, guys. They're, they're like space wizards. <laughs> space, space wizards. Yeah, space wizards. Yeah. Oh. Space wizards, white swords. Like a wizard sleeve, but in outer space. Got it. Okay. <laughs> that's, no, that's a completely different video series. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't, to be honest with you, I've, I have never, I'm looking at Wayne, Wayne looks like he's a big star, Star Wars, Star Trek kind of guy, uh, but, um, I, I just, I, I honestly not. yeah, because of the beanie and the glasses, he just reminds me of somebody that would just sit down and veg out and just watch, what is it called, Mandarin Wars? Man, <laughs> man. <laughs> I probably hey, know as much as you. Chicken. <laughs> is it Mandarin? What is it? What Mandalorian? Mandalorian. Mandalo oh, like Delorean from Back to the Future. Yeah. Yeah, but what's funny from to it? Oh, Maga Delorean? <laughs> so Donald Trump's in Star Wars now. Got it. Okay. Um,. <laughs> he probably is. He probably is. I have. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't watch any of the shit. I don't watch any of these series or these shows or these. Uh, everybody's in the star. I, it's, everybody's just cooped up, man. Coronavirus. People just watching yeah. silly shit. That's what it is. Damn right. What else is there to do apart from sit down and watch some Star Wars? Escapism. Uh, yeah. what, is, what was that word you just used? Escapism. 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 We got to work on that accent. Oh, no, that's a completely different You got to talk to more. Wait, wait, you like just English people? More Americans. Oh. Because what the, that accent, where is that from? Where is that from? What is that? What what country? Jesus, am I going to have to start talking in like sign language? Dude. Escapism. <laughs> wait, where are you from? What country? Lancashire. That's a country? Isn't that a place? No, it's a county. Lancashire is a county. Lancaster is also in Pennsylvania, United States. <laughs> no, not, not Lancaster. Lancashire. <laughs> Lancashire. <laughs> See, I'm glad you're here because now he's picking on your accent and he's not picking on mine. No, so. you sound great. I feel <laughs> like I'm talking to Robin Robert Williams, Williams Mrs. Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> Fantastic. I mean, you <laughs> you cannot go wrong with that accent. What he is saying, I feel like he's going to say donkey. Like, he, I, I just... I, I don't do donkey. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good Shrek, dude. <laughs> right? Right? Really good. It was good Shrek. Hey, I paint myself green, I'm Shrek. I paint myself purple, I'm Grimace. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm versatile. <laughs> Grimace has a very odd shape, doesn't he? He's like an avocado, but upside down. Like it's <laughs> Grimace is from McDonald's, isn't it? Isn't that the purple dude? Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's like a fucking pear. Like oh, I got it. I got. I might be able to help you out here. There we go. What do you got? What are you going to turn me? Can I get the purple light on? Do you have a? Do you have a moon set up? Oh, my, oh my God. God. You got LED set up. Oh, shit. Oh, God. All right. Um, totally forgot what I was going to what I was gonna say. So, all right. So, it's Mand Mandal Mandalorian. Is that it? Mandalorian. M-A-N-D-O-L-O-R-I-A-N. Mandalorian? Yes. Okay. Got it. So, it's Star Wars. There's the oh, internet back. again. Sorry about that. We keep getting disconnected. As long as we get reconnected, we're good. So what did you say? Yeah, you said something about a pretzel? What did you, you say, Mr. Bain? About a what? A pretzel. Pretzel. 
bloody pretzel. You just are you thinking I'm hungry? You're gonna start chucking pretzels at me. Why vape ape? Is it because you're shaped like an ape? Or no, the reason why it's vape ape, my wife calls me an ape. She says I'm like a shaved gorilla. So vape ape, obviously, because it rhymes. Right. Um, and it's it's basically Mr. B has always been my nickname because of my PSN name or PlayStation name. Right. Um, so, so using your Mr. analogy, Vic it should Vic. be Vic the Dick. <laughs> I feel like Vic the Prick. You know, it's... I mean, they call me Gay J, so I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what they call Wayne. Um, plain Wayne. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were more into Star Wars because the joke JJ Binks would work really well. I, no. <laughs> Well, I, you know who I do know from Star Wars is that that uh, Chewbacca, right? And then you got that real fat fuck, the one that looks like Grimace, the one that's like a, you know what I'm talking about? The no, not Chewbacca, the other one, the real fat. Jabba one. the Hutt. Oh. Jabba the Hutt. Jabba. Yeah. Jabba. Jabba. First he was Snuffleupagus. Now then he was Grimace, and now he's Jabba. Yeah, cool. Jabba the Hutt. That that might that might fit you a little bit better. Jabba the Vapes. That's nice. <laughs> Jabba the Ape. There we go. <laughs> a hairless gorilla. Do you shave your chest, Mr. B? I can't grow hair to save my life. I can tell I don't by the top to of your head. Do you have eyebrows? Yeah, kind of. Okay. <laughs> well, so is there, is there? Right. It's the light. That's all it is. It, my camera makes me look a lot fatter than it is. I'm thinking about changing it for a slimmer one. <laughs> Which, <laughs> I think there's a compression feature like where you can kind of compress it. <laughs> like there those is? carnival mirrors. Guys, I'm on it. I think there's a carnival mirror setting to where you can get skinnier. No? I, I could, all I have to do then is video chat my wife and she'll think I've lost weight. It's wonderful, huh? That's, <laughs> that's one way of doing it. <laughs> so, what's up, uh, Vic? How's everything going over there in Scotland? You guys shutting down? No, we're not England. It's England that's shutting down. So up here, up here, we're at level three. Level three COVID awareness, which means wear a mask and shit like that. But the shops are still open, so everything's fine. So you got, so you have to wear a mask out there. It's no different than it is in the United States, essentially. Yeah, it's no different. It's only England that locked down. It's only England. Wait, we should be good. I resumed yeah, it. Yeah, are we up? We should be we should be good to go. We should be back in the mix. We are. I'm waiting in the spinning thing, Starvin. Yeah, we're good. Oh, we're back. We're there back. We okay, there it is. Hey, there. Sorry about that. Uh, I had to poop real quick, and I figured that if I just shut the feed down instead of pausing the stream, I could shit. Uh, Bree passed out on the bike, and I had to plug the battery terminals back in. So we're good to go now. Sorry about that. Uh, guys, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, man. I don't know what's. What, I thought it was the first feature. Now, then I thought it was Skype, but it's not that. We're, we're good. So, what were we talking about? Uh, Vic, shut Lockdowns down. Lockdowns and shit. So you got to wear masks over in Scotland. Yeah, that's that's basically it. Wear a mask. And what happens if you don't wear a mask? Nothing. You don't get a fine. Nope. Oh, uh, you're allowed out. You do it down here. Hmm. But you're in a different country, right? You're in Lancashire, which is somewhere off the coast of England. <laughs> like I don't, I don't. Where is it? You man. still have not made that clear. Where are you from again? But right, there's three syllables: Lancashire. Okay, where does that reside? Like, if you put your mailing address down, Manchester, forty minutes north of Manchester. That's still <laughs> the north help. of England, G. It's North England, West. right? Is what? Yeah, Northwest. Right. Okay. So it's England. I don't know why he just didn't say that. That's why he's got to be all extra time. about it? It's like saying I'm in zip code zero eight eight one seven. Nobody knows what the fuck that means. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Like, it does not help at all. Uh, Wayne, where are you at, bro? What state you in? Oh, I'm in Philadelphia. I'm out here in Philly. So how's that? Ask, ask him where he spent most of his days. Where do you? What do you want me to? Ask where did you spend most of your days, Wayne? Oh. Uh, what do you mean by most of my days? Ah, Dude, chilling I don't... out, maxing, relaxing, Boring. and cooling. That's what he's been doing. Oh, Mr. B started singing. I don't know yeah, what the fuck. That, what, is Rose that a Rose. song or something? The Fresh Prince. Oh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Oh, my God. Mr. B got ah. it. 
Wow. Don't worry, Wayne. You're not alone, bro. I had no idea. I was like, did she want to know, did you go grocery shopping today? Is that what you're no. <laughs> I, used to live near, I used to live near his his fucking old Philly house. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. So, but Philly, you guys, you guys are in the shit, huh? Because of Mr. Trump. Uh, oh, oh, my uh, God. What a mess. What a mess. Oh, it was crazy. Oh. Yeah, it's been it's been crazy, but um you know, it's like New York here. It's it's very liberal, very liberal city. What's nice is everyone does wear masks. So, you know, it's not, you know, you can go somewhere and you know like I don't, I don't know how how effective it is. We try not to go out as much as possible, but you know, you go grocery shopping, at least everyone has a mask and they're clean and shit, right? And it's not you don't have to worry too much about that, but um I really haven't been doing much since the COVID, man. I was like really paranoid about it when it really? first dropped. Yeah, when it first, before anyone even started talking about masks, I was wearing like legit N95 masks and making sure like. Oh, you're every- that kind of guy. You're and- like a Howie Mandel, like where you got. I'm the like- DIY guy. Yeah, yeah. I, rail I mean, and. Yeah, I wanted to nothing to do with any sort of airborne lung virus, um, and seeing it kind of you know, what we saw now, I mean, it's kind of just ahead of the curve, but, you know, we're just taking it easy. We have a kid coming. The kids should be here soon. So that's going to add another dynamic to the mix. So things are going to get pretty fun, I guess. When, when you say you have a kid coming soon, did you order it? Like, is it on overnight delivery? Yeah. <laughs> I ordered from Fast Tech. So. Not, oh, so you got the Chinese rendition. Oh, dude. You yeah. start a sweatshop in the basement, start making sneakers. You got this. Yeah, you're going to have a couple of clones on the way. Nice. Nice. Congratulations, buddy. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank yeah, you. Good thank for you. you, bro. Good for you. That's nice. Yeah. I didn't know that yep. you were married or in a relationship. I... Yeah, I've been married about a uh, year and a half. Oh, wow. Yeah. You liking it? Is it nice? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 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 So far. They just make everything better. Any complaints, you know? (laughs) Is there anything I could tell you about it before you really get enveloped? Yeah, I've done this four times. I know all about it. I know all the ins and outs. Um, Yeah, we'll make sure, you know, if I need any. uh... Yeah, don't even call a lawyer. Just call Jay. I I know everything. I know more than what lawyers do. <laughs> Believe me, I'll hold you up to that. I'll hold you up on that. Yeah, I, I, the reason why I do the vape videos is to pay alimony. Uh, just making that clear. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason why I do it. No, good for you, bro. That's good. That's that's nice. Having babies and extending a family. That's good. You live with her, or are you, you are you married? Like, yep, married. Okay, all right. That's yep, nice. we live to. We have this house. We just got this house last. We got this house in March, and wow. um. We have the kid come in in February. Wait, then, you've only been together for a year and you already have a house together? No, no. We've been together like 10 years. Oh. But we bought nice. the house. We were renting. But you're like that. 24. So you were together no, like 13? <laughs> How old are you? I'm 30. Oh, you, you look about 19. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel 19. I can tell you that. Yeah, I hear that. I, just, every, I, I literally feel like I'm 60 years old. I, I can't yeah. wait till when I'm 60 if I make it that far. I know. Death. I, thir- I, I definitely feel 30, which is crazy. Yeah, well, well the, the that kid's that definitely going to speed that up for you, too. You're going to feel like yeah. you're 50 after about two years. So. Mm. Yep. That's what I'm expecting. So pray for me. I, guess. <laughs> I got you, brother. You're in my prayers, man. Thank you, man. Well, now that we're talking about kids, Mr. B, you look like you ate one. Do you have any kids? <laughs> Well, uh, he started off with like two or three, but then, you know, I got a bit hungry one day and he just went out the window. Um, <laughs> I, I got to put some jokes out there. I got to put some jokes. Go Do you got kids? Do you got kids, Mr. No, nah, man. I've got eight dogs, which is more than enough to handle. Eight um, dogs? Eight. Yeah, eight That's dogs, That's a man. lot of dogs. You breed them? No, we don't. what it is. Um, my breed them to eat them. Very much... <laughs> Hey, trust me, when I'm, there's that much dog food in the house. When I'm hungry, I'm sorted. You know what I mean? Dogs give me a bit no, of No, no, I got it. I'm just fucking with you. I'm just fucking with you, Mr. Big. But, <laughs> so, so you, eight dogs, though. Eight. Yeah, eight. Yeah, Everything from a Patadale Terrier to a Newfoundland. A Newfoundland? So, Those things are fucking huge. Tell me about it. And he, he's a mean little bastard. Well, big bastard as well. Damn, he, um, big dogs. 
Yeah, man. He's about six That's foot two expensive. when he's got legs. But not not only the the i the idea of having eight dogs, walking eight dogs, feeding eight dogs. That's essentially like a person. Like that's yeah, in the, yeah absolutely. Uh, me, what it is? See, me and my wife, we we used to be involved with dog rescues. We still are today. Mm. Um, and it got to a point when whenever there was a dog that needed rescuing, we got called. Um, two of the dogs that well, one of the dogs we own, one I gave to me dad. Um, was we got a call from a vet when they were six days old saying, if you don't pick these up now, we're going to have to put them down. Oh. So what am I supposed to do? You know, so at that point, we went to go pick them up. And Brian and George, two um, bulldog brothers, um, and they just became a part of the pack, but one went to me dad. Um, but then the pack just kept growing. Looking after eight dogs is no different than looking after th- It costs a bit more. You spend on dog food. Uh, oh, bloody hell. Uh, probably about £100 a month, or equivalent to about $120. I guess that's not bad. Oh, that's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be way more than that. So did actually, I, my I wife was... did the right thing. She trained them all to eat biscuits. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say you trained them all to eat biscuits? That's right, yeah. So, Like a, a biscuit from Red like Lobster? Oh. Or like a... Like a, like a, oh. like a like McMuffin? Like a McMuffin? Like that type of meal? No, dog biscuits. <laughs> oh, a dog oh, treat. No, a treat. You're cooking butter biscuits. You said That's biscuit. I'm thinking every fair. morning you're going out getting a dog a sausage McMuffin. Like, I didn't know. I didn't know. What, <laughs> I didn't I don't no, know. I learned this That's recently. Yeah, I learned this recently. In the in the uh, Europe and UK, they call bis- cookies our biscuits to them. And they call chips yep. fries. What we call fries, yeah. they call chips. And our biscuits are like more like I don't know what you would call them there, like scones. muffins. Yeah. Scones. Scones. Yeah. scones, yeah. No, isn't a scone a croissant? No, a croissant is a croissant. A I'm sorry, did you just wait? Did you just remove the R and put a W there like your friend? <laughs> Dude, it's pronounced get croissant. the fuck out of here! You said croissant. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, say aluminum. Say aluminum for me, just one time. Aluminium. Aluminium. <laughs> right, we're done here. Um, like I get it, you guys invented the English language. Like I get it, but you fucked it up too. I just. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it, bro. Listen, you can it, have it's it. Not the, it. It's not the UK's fault that the United States decided to remove a whole bunch of letters that is from the alphabet. I will not. I will not look. I'll play devil's advocate. I will give you that. They say that English, realistically. Is so it's not the hardest language to learn. That would be Mandarin, Chinese, Hungarian's yeah. up there in the top three. Uh, but uh, they they say English is so difficult to learn, not because of the words, but because of the slang. There's so yep. many words, like yeah. like people now are using this hashtag woke shit. That is the dumbest fucking tag I've ever heard. Because first off, you woke doesn't. You might as well just say awake. Like, because woke is plural for awake. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, I woke up. I, yeah. I wake up. No? Okay. I, I don't. <laughs> it's, it's stupid fucking. We, they use abbreviations for everything. Like, bay is baby. Like, no, before anything else. Yeah, it's so stupid. It's so dumb. I will refuse to answer text if they send me, like, abbreviated words. I'll just refuse. Unless okay. you speak Queen's English, I refuse to respond. So bay stands for before anything else is what you're saying? Right, that's what it is. Before anything and else. A baby, not like a like a baby. No, like... it's before anything else, which is uh, kind of uh, cute. Uh, it's kind of cute. I mean, you know, I don't know if I would I would call somebody that though. I want to be like, "Yo, bay, what up?" Like I, I don't <laughs> I, I don't Yeah, feel... but I always thought it was like like you would say like, "Yo, what's up, baby?" You know right, but I mean? you you got that lazy, you had to remove the b from baby? Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> It's like removing the J-A from my name and just calling me I. Like, just, it's already <laughs> short. Why make it shorter? Like, it's <laughs> No, but that's that's what I thought when I originally heard it. And then I was live on YouTube and was like, no, it's got a meaning. I didn't know that. And, oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's cute. Just like, you learn about biscuits. I learn about bay. So, you know. <laughs> it's a new one on me as well. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, that's, that's cool, man. Eight fucking dogs. That's a lot of, that's a lot of dogs. I, I can, hey, keep, keep, keep you warm in winter. Stay up for nothing. Well, you look like you keep yourself warm. It doesn't look like you need anything else. Like, Why do you think my wife married me? She sees me as a walking radiator. Nice. Oh. Oh, God, I hate 
heating bill at all. You don't have a heating bill. She just sits next to you when it gets chilly. Deep down, <laughs> until she gets annoyed and then she pisses off. But then, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but on the flip of that, I bet your AC bill is through the fucking roof. Like when it's hot time, that AC is up. We, we don't have air conditioning. I just, you know, open the window. <laughs> it's easy enough. Wait, you don't, I'm sorry, did you just say you don't have AC? Yeah, we don't have, well, apart from in my car, but we don't need air conditioning over here. It's the UK, it's always cold. Yeah. Nah, that's bullshit. I call no. bullshit. You don't have no hot months? No, it was I mean, hot. You might, you might have one or two, but that's what the wind is for. You just open the window. Just open the window and let some fresh air in. Wait, Vic, you don't have AC either? No, it's Scotland, Jay. The, the, <laughs> hottest we, the, the hottest summer we've had here on the West Coast that I can remember was the summer of 2018. And the mm. hottest it got was about 28 Celsius. So that's like... Yeah. 60s and 60 degrees for 60 70 something like that yeah okay all right see but so okay but this is where we have a little bit of a discrepancy right like i'm from new jersey so hot to me would be 80 degrees right now when you go to florida it's like 110 that's like oh, super no. hot no. right so what i'm saying is if you were raised around scotland right what you may consider hot to me is nice right because you're mm. from that region that, that's irrelevant. I just think what is important is that you guys don't have any AC over there. So, no. I, that's no, fascinating. I, it's, it's never been something I've ever really I used, though. Like even in my car, I don't turn it on. So I don't see the point of it. Of air conditioning? Yeah. Don't see the point. It's, it's, a, it's a luxury that I don't need to spend on. Just open the window. Exactly. What the fuck? Wayne, are you hearing this shit? Like yeah, must, must be nice. Yeah, I, I, guess, I, I don't. I, I, I'm not familiar with this. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not familiar with it being 90 degrees outside and me just opening a window. It's like I feel like I'm letting more heat back inside. I'm trying to Especially get away from it. Where it's so humid, sometimes it's like in the. It's like 100 percent humidity. It's like no oh. air is gonna fucking come through. You have to turn that AC on. Oh, dude, it's and it's like wet. It's like you yeah. go outside. You guys don't know. Come come to the Northeast. It, it's so fucking humid. It's like it could be 60 degrees outside and feel like it's yeah. 85. It's, yeah. it's wet. Can, I couldn't cope in that. Like, see, me being the president of the Fat Bastard Society, one of the things that we hate the most is heat. Right. Yeah, I, I, I can see. Can't, I, I literally melt like the wizard, the, the, the wizard of Oz. The I, wizard. I melt. The space wizards. <laughs> No, the the wicked witch of the west. I will melt like you wouldn't believe. I look like a a, a sloppy grimace, but it's, I don't. <laughs> have you ever been skinny? A what? Well, have you ever been skinny? No, no. You were born fat. Pretty much. Yeah, so you're saying no. at three years old you had to roll to the living room like you couldn't <laughs> walk your ass at, there? At, at three years old, my dad like used me as a bowling ball to open doors. You know. <laughs> No. Oh, big boy. <laughs> no, you see, what it was, when I was at high school or secondary school, whichever. Well, hold on, hold on. Let, let's, let's backtrack, Mr. B. Hold on a second. Why don't you give me a scale? Let, tell me how off I am. I'm going to look at you and just judge it, right? We're going to talk about that for a little bit because it's inside the minds. We'll talk about whatever, right? I just want to know. Just out of curiosity, just winging it. I'm going to guess, I know you go by stones, which is really fucking weird, because when I pick up a stone, that don't weigh but two ounces. And I know that you don't weigh 20 ounces, so we're not going to say 16 stone. But I'm just going to roughly estimate and say probably 510 pounds. How close am I? Not far off. I'm neck end of 500 pounds. Okay. What's it like? Uh, well, what's it like? Well, the thing is, we've always been... On the larger side of the scale. Okay. I carry my weight a lot better than most would. It's not like a 25 year old decided, oh, that Big Mac looks good. I'm going to eat 50,000 of them. It's, you know, I've always been big. At 16 years old, I was 21 stone. I don't, I don't know how much that is. Which now, 21 stone is 294 uh, pounds. Okay, 300 pounds. Wow. Wow, yes, that's a big that That's was a, at 16 years old. Are you that, tall? That Were you? No, I'm five. I'm five foot ten. I'm the only five foot ten person on earth with twenty-three inch legs. 
So I've got That's really it. short legs, but a massive body. Now the thing so is, you're like an like overgrown a... Oompa Loompa. Got it. Go ahead. Pretty much, yeah. Got it. it. Worked really well for me when I played American football. Because obviously having short legs and a big body with a big ass works really well when oh, you're yeah. a center. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you're a center? So, yeah, well, I was a right center. They tried putting me at center, but I just I was more. Yeah, center's usually the biggest on the team. You just want to walk. Yeah, I like I always liked to be right center so I could like crack some running backs. Um just like open up gaps to let the running backs through. Uh so I, I particularly like closed lining linebackers. That was always my favorite thing. Um but they the thing was, because of my size, it always helped me in that respect. Playing rugby, I was always a star of the team because I could just run through a team with them all hang, um, hanging off the back of my back. Um, American football, I pretty much, you know, they, they used to call me Mitzi. They nicknamed me after the smallest dog they'd ever seen. So that was the fun of it. And they always used to turn and say, oh, you want to be careful, Mitzi's coming. And the other team would be like, Mitzi? How big's Mitzi? Then all of a sudden, I'd turn around the corner and be like, oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And obviously, as you can imagine, at that sort of size, once I've got my shoulder pads on and my helmet, I look like something out of a sci-fi movie. Like, you yeah. know you know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of Refrigerator Perry. I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah. No, the yeah, very, the very I, big black man. Yeah. That's not now, what, that. What yep. they, used, they used to use a lot of the tactics. In the team I played for, they used a lot of the fridge's tactics when we were anywhere near the five-yard line. So I can't sprint far. But if I get up to speed, I can get enough distance where no one can stop me. I mean, I don't, I don't so know if you're familiar the with this. The five yard line. I, just trust everybody. I don't know if you're familiar with this. I'm sure someone in here. Say that is, again. Is, is, I don't know bit. if you're familiar with this, but I don't know if anybody in here is a Bears fan. But I believe that the Bears won the Super Bowl because of Refrigerator Perry taking a football and running in for a touchdown. I, I do believe a fumble he picked up and he could. They couldn't. He just carried people. Just, just carried. Yeah. Them. No. He, fucking he's a massive. Pete. It's a big People boy. my size, when we get up to speed, the only thing you really should do is get out of the way. Well, you're like yeah. a Volkswagen Beetle, basically. You're like a Beetle without rims. You're just a big lumpy thing. That's cool. That's there's nothing wrong with that. As long as look, yeah, I'll go with that. I'll go with that. But, uh, yeah. I, I don't do look. Who gives a shit, right? <laughs> but but you but you know what people are thinking it. So I'm just saying it before they say it. That's all. That's it. Yeah, That's no, it. hey, no. Listen, there is nothing anyone can say to me that the mirror doesn't tell me every morning. You know, so it's, I am what I am. I'm a big geezer. I'm losing weight. You know, it's not, I don't plan on staying this big bastard all my life. Um, but the straight fact is, I am what I am, and I accept what I am. And that, and the reason why I accept it is so no one can use it against me. That's right. That's, that's exactly. the, that is the yep. best fucking approach, is make fun of yourself before other people do it. Because what are you going to say? It's like Eminem <laughs> and 8 Mile. I'm sure you've seen 8 Mile, right? If I diss yep. myself, and say everything before I give you the microphone. What the fuck are you gonna say, bro? Like what exactly? Gonna, that's it. That you, you can't it's, say. It's shit. I always used to deal with bullies. They, I used to stand in. They call me fat bastard. This. So I used to stand in front of him and said, "You know, your eyes look absolutely stunning when you're angry." <laughs> <laughs> and it used to just completely take away all their ammunition. There's nothing you can do at that point. You know, one of my good, one of my best friends is a heavy, heavy, heavy dude. And he used to always say, like, nothing anyone could ever say to him would bother him. He was like, he was his own worst critic. It was like his, it. his own mind was like what he had to battle with. Like, you could yep. say anything to the guy, and it was nothing compared to like what he was saying to himself. So <laughs> it's good to know, like, you know, you have that sort of like inner strength to kind of put you through. And that, he's lost like 150 pounds by now. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. There's, there's three things that I find that are the hardest things in the world. One of them is stopping smoking, which is incredibly hard. The other is once you get to the morbid obese state, which that is what I clinically am, morbidly obese, it is incredibly hard to lose weight down to a normal size because it's become a habit just like smoking. Yeah. Yep. What? Food, wait, food has become a habit? Yeah, man. Oh, that's that bad. Been a habit a long time ago. But that's bad, it's, bro. That's... You'd have a, I'd have a bad day in the car sales world. I'd jump in my car and piss off to McDonald's to calm down. And that's yeah. <laughs> just the way it was. Well, what is it? It's called comfort food, right? That's what it is. Yeah, that's right, yeah. That's, that's... And it, that whole action becomes habit. When you're pissed off or when you're bored, you'll go make yourself a sandwich. And yeah. hunger is like a is like a, a evolutionary instinct that we have as humans. Yeah, that's true. It's like the hardest thing to ignore is hunger. Yeah. Your body is yeah. everything is telling you to eat. 
I'm about ready to break your mind. Ready? Brie told me this the <laughs> other day, and it blew my fucking mind. Were you ready for this, Wayne? She says, <clears throat> and this is true. This, you're going to find this so hard to believe. She said to me that I, I was hungry. I was like, man, I'm hungry as shit. I can eat something. She's like, are you sure you're hungry? And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I could eat. Like if there were just sub, thirsty. Sub, sub is in front of me, I could eat. She's like, how do you know you're not thirsty? Did you know mm -hmm. that your mind cannot tell the difference whether you're hungry or thirsty? Yeah, Yo, that yeah, yeah, blew, yeah. that blew my fucking mind. I Bro, I thought she was trolling me. I start Googling. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. So you could be, you could think you are so fucking hungry and you drink water and you're full. Like yeah. that, that blows my mind. I, I need to try that. Like it, an ice cold real. glass of water like fills you up. Supposedly. It's a real thing. It's, yeah. it's it, and it really cool. genuine for any fat fuck out there. He genuinely works. <laughs> I can te I, I can attest to that. Um, the the only thing is, though, your if, water you know, though is a hamburger. We get it. We got it. Yeah. We if, got you, it. if you think by, I'm going to cure my thirst by drinking two liters of coke, <laughs> that is bad. <laughs> that is bad. Water. <laughs> yeah. No. No. Yeah. Water. Yeah. And, and it, it's crazy because you can lose like. It, I've watched so much shit about losing weight, right? Like I'm two sixty four, six foot one. So I'm not, I'm not. Uh, but in you said morbidly obese. Even for me, for me in America, I am considered. I, I wouldn't say morbidly obese, but I'm obese, right? Two sixty four, six one isn't really that fat, right? But but the way that my oh, doctor no, looks at it. It, but but in in America that is obese, right? But so I start I start googling and I find these people that I I kid you not, a guy was on a French fry diet for thirty days. All he ate was French fries. That's all he ate. Lost two hundred and eighty pounds. Went from like four ninety to to two something and change. All he ate was French fries. So what it's was a French fried Friday and slim fast. But the but the thing is is it's not an excess. You understand what I'm saying? Like he just. Or yeah, that's it, boys, don't they? Yeah, the chips here. See, French no, you see, French fries aren't chips here. That's where people get the distinction wrong. French fries are French fries. They're the little sticky things that are pointless to eat. Yeah. yeah. So the what's ones. chips then? Wait, things. wait, so what's chips then? Chips are big fat bastards. They're like they're wedges. Like, they're like the wedges, you know what I'm talking they, about? Oh yeah, they, like they, like they, uh they, like the like the like if you took a potato and cut it. Down the center, and like yeah. little cylinder. Okay, I get it. So, so what? What are you? What do you call potato chips? Crisps. Crisps. Oh, that's Aww. that's corny. Um, that's that's <laughs> dumb. Uh, so, so chip. Okay, so way to think about it is when is a French fry? I'm a chip. Right. That, that's the way to look at it. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of a chip. <laughs> <laughs> Not compared to me, you know. <laughs> Wayne, what do you weigh? What do you weigh, Wayne? Yeah, I'm, uh, let me guess. Let me guess. I'm going to say you're 5'8", because I've seen you face-to-face. -face. I'm going to say 5'8", a buck 85. No, I am 5'10", and around, like, 225. I'm at my heaviest right now, awesome. like, 225. I saw around. you prior to COVID, though. So did the COVID get you fat? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, and yeah. taller. So you got a little, you're wearing platform shoes now. Platform <laughs> shoes. <laughs> and even a lot of crisps. Is I'm that a stretch? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> See, that's the problem. Before COVID, I was only like 150 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been in COVID for like 30 years. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hey, All right. Like, I can this, take this it. Vic, 30, what do you weigh? Bush years of sheer neglect. Vic, what do you weigh? Just out of curiosity, you look like a tiny little guy. I'm five foot seven, and the last time I weighed myself, which was pre-COVID, and I know for a fact I've put weight on since then, but pre-COVID I was sixteen and a half stone. So that is okay. Get out the stone to pound. How many pounds is it? Yeah, how many pounds is a stone? Fourteen. Okay. So two hundred thirty-one at five seven. Yeah. See, I'm not that far off, but my problem is I put the weight on my chin. And my belly. See, with me, with me, all the weights in the gut, all of it's in the gut. God. I've got a forty-two oh, inch waist. Ass. I'm not gonna like, lie to you. I thought about getting like a, a neck plasty where they like suck the fat out of my neck. There's but nothing then, wrong with that, man. There is wow. something wrong with that. Let me tell you why. Because I can't do a review for three months because you gotta wear this shit. 
like a choker, uh, like a compression. Dog, yeah. dog <laughs> right. So now I could just well, I could actually get away with it, right? Because I could tell people it's a gator. I could tell that I just I never took the gator off. I know you don't know what a gator is. Say that again. Neck, and then you put it over your face. Oh, so not just me breaking up for them. Thank oh, I'm breaking up. Okay. Yeah, he's breaking up. Yeah, say that again. Okay, so what you got to wear when you get the neck oplast, you got to wear like compression around your neck. So what I could tell people is, is that it's a gator. You know, the thing that uh, you put over your over your face. So right. they would never know. But then when the, I take the thing off my neck, they're going to be like, damn, he got skinny as shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, can I can tell you something now that is going to help you immensely. And this is this is the power of. Oh, this is this is always the best. Is when you take advice from someone that's fatter than you to lose hey, weight. No, no, Go me. ahead, bro. Trust Tell me, me what I gotta do to lose it's weight, eventually. fatty. Go ahead, fatty. No, no, it's not to lose weight. This is not a losing weight tip. That would be a bit fucking pointless. But this is a tip. So every morning when I wake up, I look in the mirror and I go, oh, "You are one sexy bastard." And that, every morning I do that. Every morning without fail, I look in the mirror, I'll give myself a little wink. I say, well done. You haven't died in your sleep, you sexy bastard. No, well, I, I tell everybody that I'm already good looking, so I'm already past that phase. I'm done now. Exactly. So but if you did that enough times. Yeah, but I'm just lying to myself. You don't need neck plastic. Yeah, but I'm just lying to myself. Like, I know that I can lose a neck. You have to keep it real to yourself. <laughs> like, I got to keep it real, right? Like, that is my motto. I got three chins, bro. Like, I could give hey, Wayne one. Trust me when you've got 35. <laughs> your your neck has its own shirt. I get it. I get I'm it. Right. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. I, I mean, it is what it is, man. I do need to lose weight. Maybe we should do some like weight loss challenge or something. Because I, you, you know what I want. You know what I want to do. There's this thing called thick water. Does anybody know what that is? No. Like Slim Fast? No, no, no. It's T H I C C. It's essentially like syrup water. And apparently there's a diet to drink this. Like it's a challenge, but it's it's designed so you think that you're eating when you're actually drinking. Think huh. so slim fast. No, 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 no. There's no nutrients in it. It's just <laughs> oh, Jesus. It's, it's like VG. It's like you're drinking VG. That's it. It's like drinking VG. 98%. So, no, it's... Bro, look at look at them pour it out. It looks like maple syrup, like the consistency. It is... Mm. Them? I mean, it... Yeah. I mean, because a lot of... I started drinking a lot more water recently, and I've noticed, like, you just feel better once you start drinking enough water. And I don't even drink enough. Like, I drink... I try to drink one of these a day, and I'm supposed to be drinking, like, almost two of these. A gallon. And I already feel well, so better. Drinking, like, I don't know if it's up. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know if it's helping any any weight loss, but I do feel better. Like I I go to sleep easier. I just feel like looser. No more dry knuckles. You sound like Rip Trip. No dry, <laughs> dry knuckles. knuckles. Yeah, I got my electrolytes. <laughs> um, There's nothing like a dick ripper's drunk. Well, that's what Rip Trip said. He had dry knuckles and he just needed to drink more water. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> no, he got to plug the powder. Dick rippers. Yeah, he's drinking that fucking like Amazon powder, or whatever he had. <laughs> what was the powder? I forget what, what it was. was. It? it started with a P, right? Purina. No, that's a dog food. Uh, Purina. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Cat King's diet. Purina. <laughs> Wait, what the fuck was it? It was it was some type of electrolyte powder. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh my god! You. It started with a U. A U. Um. You who? No, that <laughs> yeah, starts with a Y, bro. <laughs> oh, I don't remember what it was. I can't. Oh, man. That feels like it was like a fucking decade ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago with that. And he, he pulled the what. video down. Oh, yeah, he just pulled it down. I just noticed that. But I'll I, I tell you what, though. When, when Look, you could give him all the shit in the world. You look at what he used to weigh and what he weighs now. Whether he did yeah. that with the crystal meth diet or cocaine <laughs> or cigarettes, either way, he lost that weight. I mean, losing, like, what, like, like I'm just, Mr. B, I'm just gonna throw this out there. When you're heavier, right, it, it's easier to lose more weight, right? Like, if you're 500 pounds, it's no sweat dropping 100 pounds. Right? Yeah, it's, I, I, if I wanted to, I could drop a, I could drop 14, 20 pounds in a week. Oh, yeah, easy. oh, yeah, easy, easy. But once you start, like me, I got to a point where I was at 248 and I could not. Lou, dude, I could not. I was going to the gym hit every wall. fucking day. You hit the wall, yeah. I, I was literally, yeah. dude, I was losing like a half an ounce a day. And I'm. this is not working for me anymore. And 
I, I'm not going to make excuses, but you get to a point where you just can't. So him to go from two two eighty to one hundred and seventy, yo. See, as much as much as I don't like dick rippers, I'll always respect anybody who can, you know can have that mental to push through the wall and you know to actually physically lose because phys- losing weight is not easy. It's not. I don't get what anyone says. Losing weight is one of the hardest things, especially in, not we're not talking five or six pounds here to lose double figures over a period of times for someone who's smaller is extremely hard. Yeah, and to keep mm. it off is even harder. Yeah, to, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Because you can yo-yo really easily, you know? Oh, yeah. oh yeah. Like you do, though, like a lot of people like that keto shit, but people have to understand it's not a diet. It's a way of life. Yeah, you have to right? live that way. Yeah. If, you, if, you, if you cut that out, fine, great. But now you're depriving your body. But once you start putting that back in your body, guess it what's going to come back? back? That fucking yeah. weight. So... Yeah. It does work, but you have to stick with yep. it, and it's Consistency. so tough to stick with that. Just doing it, doing it, doing it. But but that was called. It's funny as people. <laughs> God, what were, what were you saying, Mister B? Cut up that lost internet connection there. I, I, I was saying there is one advantage to being a fat bastard like me, and that's if people piss me off, I just warn them straight that if they carry on, I'm going to make them a pole bear in my will. Yeah, that's a lot of work. That's they they gotta do they make look that's a that's a good question. If you're if you're really big, right? Do they make like extra grave size? Like, I don't know. My wife has just told me at my size, she's just gonna Why is that grim? A that's a problem. real question. I don't I don't think that's grim. No, it is, it's a fair question. Well, I, I don't know. My wife just said she's Yeah, they probably charge it for two size. plots. You probably get two plots because you're a, a big dude. Hey, at least at least I'll be dying in comfort. Fucking damn right. Or they just cremate you and just give you like a whole crate worth of ashes. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I said. Just, just burn me. This I'll smells a lot like Big it. Max. You can have this. <laughs> Look at the right side. If they cremate me, I'll be able to keep a city warm for a month. Yes. <laughs> There's a... <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> Why's it fucked oh, up, man? Come on, man. Come on, let him own it. Let him own it, bro. Let him own it. No, I like it. It's funny. Let him, let him have it. That's that's cool. That's cool. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. We, I mean, yeah, we all live with what we've got. We all get a hand that we dealt. And if you own the hand that you've dealt and just play the cards rather than piss in the morning about it, you live a much happier life. Yeah, but I'll yeah. tell you this, but I'll tell you this though, Mr. B, putting yourself out there, doing these videos, you subject yourself to it. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people that complain, like like me, right? Like I, I'm not, I don't, and I don't want to keep focusing on me because it's not just about me, but I, I I a lot of people tell you like I'm pissed off about these trolls or upset, and I'm not, right? Like they're the ones that made me who I am today. You made me famous. Thank you very much. Every time you shared a video and you talk shit about me, if one of those hundred people subscribed. Who really wins? It's not exactly. you. It's it's not you because you're mm-hmm. bringing people to my channel. But but what you have to realize is you're going to get a lot of shit, man. You are. You're, uh, I've, I've you been know, getting but, shit since I was 14. That doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm just saying that the internet is, listen, Mr. B, you're- It's a cruel place. You're very, you're very young in your channel. I'm yeah, telling absolutely. you that people are very, very- vindictive online they'll say whatever they got to say to piss you off and see it won't be about your weight either it'll be your your most insecure thing that you know deep in your head and then they'll just keep picking and picking and you just got that like they'll say wow you look like you you just recovered from cerebral palsy good job so you know that (laughs) (laughs) like i'm I'm not joking like they're gonna hit you with some the, the, you, unthinkable shit, and I'm just saying, I I give you more power, bro. That's why I'm putting you on the channel. Let people let find out who it. you are, man. That's fuck it, dude. Fuck it. If you're that miserable, I, where you have to make fun of people or or make jokes about them to make yourself feel better, you're a piece of shit. Like it's that simple. You're a piece of shit. It's that that I don't know how else to word that. You know, I just the the, the one the one good thing about I know I, I joke and jest say there's good things about being a fat bastard. Let me just make this plain and simple. Living this life is never good, and if you can change, then change. But there are bonuses to it. For one, it's made me the person I am today. That's a straight fact, sure. and it's it's allowed me to create this thick skin where there is nothing anybody can say that will get to me. Because at the end of the day, it's just words. 
And if someone believes in the things you're saying to me, if they believe in their heart of hearts that I am a shit review, my videos are shit, the content's crap, and they believe it, more power to them. It's the same, man. It's, it's, there's no hatred on this end. It's They can say whatever they want. It doesn't bother me one iota, and it never has done. Yeah, that's good. Good. That's good. Best way to be. That's the best way to be. It, it's just his life, in it? We all go through it. <laughs> let, me, let, me ask, let me ask you something. Now, I know Vic has done his share of his drama. I know I've done my share. Mr. B's new. Wayne, do you ever deal with other do-it-yourselfers saying you're a piece of shit? And that's you really should have do this. I just, I have to know. Like, is there a shit talking for Wayne? Like, do they say, man, Wayne, you be using that shitty condensed milk as a <laughs> flavoring? No, what it was, I, I got a lot of shit in the beginning when I started uh, charging on the website, when I made the membership on the website. This was before anyone was like monetizing subscriptions on, on YouTube, really. It was like the first thing I did. Because I just knew that it wasn't ever going to be large enough to be able to live off like ad revenue. Right, right. Now, what you want me to do is it costs a lot of money. You have to pay for it. And there was a lot of people that, you know, that didn't like the idea of, you know, pot paying for the content. And I just had to deal with that. But it wasn't it, – it, there's always like little bickering and that's always fun. But, you know, nothing too <laughs> insane. Uh, for those of you that are asking for the channels of the people on here, I, I will – yeah, well, or one of the moderators can get the links and just post them. That would be helpful. Oh. Thank you, moderators. Uh, yeah, you could just post their channels. Uh, no, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying, Wayne, I'm being a little bit more specific. What I'm saying is that yeah. if you ever got shit in regards to, oh, that flavoring, or I'm not getting what you're getting out of this, or you don't know how to mix. You're just some washed up dude wearing a beanie with some glasses. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have? Yeah, that's a, oh, yeah, that's a regular basis. Really? Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. You have I to cannot it's picture very, that uh, hate. I, I, it, it's very like a hobbyist, uh, pretentious, creative thing. Like, I'm sure there's like coil builders that probably deal with it. Like, oh, this coil build doesn't do these wraps tight enough or whatever. Like, it's usually from this the, the competitive side of things where you get a lot of that from. And I always think it's like I like that stuff. It is content, and I like to just I like to take it in and kind of just use it as criticism, I guess. Sure. Um, but yeah, that's a definitely really. That's definitely. I would have never guessed that. I would. Oh. I, I know that there you you have some shit though. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't I don't want to quote the wrong channel here. But sometimes mm -hmm. you do these streams where you have some random ass people on doing some random ass mixing. That's on your channel, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I do less of that now. Now I usually mix up other mixers' recipes, uh, and I'll review them. And and sometimes we go through that. Um, sometimes I bring on interviews. But is that, that was because you can't pull day. enough of views in? You have to get other people to do it for you. Say that again. Is it because you can't pull enough of views? You have to get other people to do it for you. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it is. I have to use their name. <laughs> yeah. Boom. That's why I bring Bree on. That's why I bring Bree Wayne because yeah. I know I I can't get new numbers, so I just show off titties because I know people will come click it and subscribe. Oh, so I know. I know. I know. Yeah, I, I I probably will soon. I'll probably have to find some. Absolutely, hire a model. Well, you know. Yeah. Just have her replace me and not say. Yeah, anything that's right. About your your wife's having a baby, right? So she's gonna be all milked up and juicy and plump. So just have her hair <laughs> like some duct tape and just oh, just put her on the side. just from the top up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a new ingredient. That's it. And just have her like shake the bottles, you know? Like, what's this about? <laughs> yeah. You gotta get content, I, I, man. I respect the hustle. It's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I remember tuning into your channel, Wayne, and I was like, why does he have these random ass people? Like, I was expecting to see you, and then there was a guy with a beard. I said, there's no way he grew his beard out that quick. Like, that's not that that's not Wayne. That's not the Wayne I know. Wait, say that again? There was a guy on your channel, right? I was watching your little stream where you had the random people, and there was a guy that had like a full beard, and I thought it was you because he had glasses on. And I said, there's no way that Wayne grew out his beard that quick. That can't be oh, him. Okay. <laughs> I said, How, is this the right channel? I got to unsubscribe. So I'm probably the guy that unsubscribes and subscribes all the time. Because I don't know who the fuck I'm watching. 
That's oh uh, yeah, yeah. I, that's a different show. I do host another show on the channel that it's a bunch of other mixers that they review stuff on there. Okay, that's All right. what you saw. That's probably what you saw. Yeah, I, you're I, very I, confused. I thought it was the wrong channel I was subscribed to. I said this. I don't know what this is right now, but I got it. I guess I should make it more clear what yes. that podcast is, especially for people like me. Yeah, it would be confusing if you would. Because I'm thinking you're in the background on the couch. Like, I, I, I didn't know I was trying to play Where's Waldo with like five different people. Yeah, I never actually, I'm happy you said that because I didn't even think of it being confusing in that way. I was just Very. assumed. Yeah, yeah, you're probably I'd, like, I'd like where, to consider where, myself fairly watching? intelligent. And if I couldn't figure it out, there's definitely people out there that definitely couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I, yeah, that's actually, I didn't even think of that. I should make a better distinction. It's a podcast. I host a podcast on the show. Yeah. Noted podcast. And that's probably what you saw. I'm not gonna lie to you though. I've I've watched it for a very extensive amount of time, more than I feel comfortable in admitting. Um, <laughs> but honestly, it's the way because it, it would only show like when that person talked, right? So yeah. it was like, ah, is he gonna say something or like make a noise? So it goes to him. Is this his channel? <laughs> Wait a minute. What am I watching? Oh, let's make some popcorn juice. Like I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what I was doing, but I got it now. So it's not, it's not really you. Okay, totally understandable. That's actually, good. I didn't think of it. I didn't think that. Yeah, you're right. So I, I would have to. Make I apologize. I'm not trying to hurt your feelings or d demean your channel. Um, you know. No, but you probably went there. You're probably like, what am I? What am I watching? Like you probably thought you were gonna see me. Yes, I, I did. I thought you were gonna show up and be like, "Ah, good job with the mix. That's yay, yeah. you nailed it." Oh uh, no, no, that, no. That, I'm happy you brought that up because I didn't even. That didn't even cross my mind that people would come there expecting to see me. Right. And then they have a whole different show there. Well, you know that that brings the point. You know, I, I know Vic is one of these people that make different channels, right? Because they don't want to put all of the content that you're interested in on one channel, right? Like it. Yeah. You're going to get shit like you're, it's, it's going to happen, whether you're going to either lose subscribers, you're going to get shitty comments, you're going to get trolls. Uh, it, it would be a really cool feature if we could, as YouTube creators, have subcategories to our channel. Essentially, what you would have is you'd have a vape channel that's all under Jay Hayes, and then you would have uh, whatever political channel, but they'd be subcategories in a channel. I don't know any other platform that does that. No platform does that. It'd be super cool. Yeah. It is what it is. Uh, it, to have two different channels, to creating content. To, uh, if anyone who, does, who doesn't do YouTube or content creating, you have no hand out of there. You have no idea how hard it is to put videos together and how many hours, you, you, you literally effort you put into it. So to have two channels to be making content for both, it, you've got to have respect for that. One hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, I, so I do. I do. When you have three channels that you put content <laughs> into, <laughs> do you have you know, three, Wayne? What are the other channels you have? Is it do it yourself with electronics? What's no, it? no, I have two channels. I only have no, two. It's me that's got well, three. Vic's got three. Yeah, Vic, you got the the tech one. You got the vape one. What's the other one? The political one. Do you political. still do that? I thought you were finished with that. No, I'm I'm gonna restart it again because a lot of people are wanting me to rant about what's going on over in the United States. So it's like, fuck it, may as well bring the channel back. <laughs> it's easy enough to do it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I mean, if we're using that re reference, I have four channels, but I, I've it it is very difficult just to do two, just to do two. Yeah, uh, it yeah, is. Yeah, you end up sacrificing. Oh yeah, you take you know. from one. Either way, no matter how you look at it, you're yeah. gonna take from one. At that. that just the way that it that, is. That's primarily why I stopped doing game reviews. So I wasn't getting anywhere with it anyway. Game like reviews or game? Game. 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 No, no. I said game reviews. reviews or gaming. Both. Like gaming reviews. Um, so I like PewDiePie old school? Yeah. yeah pretty Does PewDiePie old, old school, school that's all yeah, I did was review games. School. Okay. And, and I used to do a lot of that. And I used to put out three videos a week, every week for three years. And I just wasn't getting anywhere because so, I'm not down with the kiddies. I'm not MLG. I can't, I'm not really good with the controller. So it, there was no point apart from people laughing at me than watching. So when I switched to vaping, I got rid of the other channel. I just did, there's no point in me putting all my focus. I'd rather put all my focus into one and make it the best channel it can be than having two or three. Because even just with one, it takes up all my spare time. All my spare time. 
And it's so I have nothing but respect for anyone who does more than one channel. Absolutely nothing but respect. Well, technically, I even have four because I do gaming at night. Um, That's right. Yeah, you yeah, do I game every night. Every night I game. Right? Every night. Um, yeah, it, it's a lot of work, man. It's a lot of work. You don't have a lot of time to do anything. But in order to be successful at this day and age, I, I don't know. I, you you got to do a lot of shit, man. You got to work a lot of jobs. You got to. Some people look at what we do as not even a job. That it's just fun. It's just it's fun to make videos. Every no, day. It's, a, it's a fucking well. If it, if it wasn't a job, if it wasn't a job, I wouldn't have set all that up. I remember that. Exactly. That's a nice setup. It's a nice setup. I should think so it fucking cost to be enough. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just like, just like anyone that thinks that is like, go ahead and try to yeah, rack you do it. it. You know, plus 10,000 subscribers. Yep. You know, just right. try try to do it. You know, yep. and it's, good luck. you'll quickly find out it's very difficult. Yeah, good luck. It's good luck, you need, like, you have to do the Instagram, the Twitter, and all the other bullshit. And like, Politic it. it's a lot. Yeah. Yeah, you got to yeah. do a lot of politics and you got to go around. You got to make friends. You got to talk to people. You, it's a lot of fucking work. It's a lot of yeah. work, man. I tell you this, it was a lot of work to get to 195,000. It was a, absolutely. Oh, oh my God. And no, it's I, rewarding. And, and like I won't you, say it's not rewarding. And like you, Wayne, there was a point where I told everybody straight up listen, uh, my channel is going all green. So if you don't donate, you ain't going to watch no fucking videos. <laughs> Everybody's like, Jay. This is gonna be the downfall of your channel. You're gonna fucking fall apart. Meanwhile, yep. forty thousand plus subscribers later, never fucking happened. Uh, but yep. you get yeah. shit. You get you get shit. You, you're gonna yep. get shit for asking. And it, it's not. But it's no. Here, here's the difference, though, Wayne. Right? Like you said, when you made your channel, right? And you went on your website. And you made it with a subscription fee, right? But yep. when you watch people, check this out. I'm gonna flip the script. When you watch someone like Ben Shapiro, right? Who is I don't know if you watch Ben Shapiro whatever, to Linus Tech Tips, they all plug ads. That's right. what they do, right? I even watching a guy, I love this guy. I, I, I don't want to say I love him. I think his content is fucking phenomenal. His name is Mr. Reagan on YouTube. And the way that he approaches ads is so tactful. He'll be talking, and I'll have a great, get, great segue into it, and he's going to be like, and while I talk about this ad that I'm going to try to sell you some shit, just skip forward for one minute and 20 seconds so you don't have to hear this. Like, he'll plug ah, it, but he'll tell you. Yeah. And I'm saying to myself, what sponsor <laughs> would pay for that knowing that you're telling people to skip forward? But they, I guess they just don't, they don't, they don't notice it. But there's no difference. Would you rather watch my channel packed with fucking ads or would you rather just watch it like how you are and whatever, whether that's a dollar or two ninety nine, but everything. If you go to Wall Street Journal, you go to any of these sites, they're all behind paywalls. People gotta make yeah. fucking money. Look at Wikipedia yeah. at the bottom of Wikipedia. It's always asking you to donate because Damn right. we're giving you all this content, and you're just reading it up, and you don't even give us a dollar. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't. I don't see anything wrong with ads either. But. Can't have no it, shit. it is what it is, isn't it? I mean, at the end of the day, it's like I said earlier. Yes, we do it for the fact money is nice. When all said and done, you know, I'm not a charity. Right. Well, my wife says I am, but <laughs> I'm not a charity. You know, but the, the straight fact is, is these things, these things, these things all cost money. What do you do um, for a living, Mr. B? I'm a marketer. I own my own marketing business. Um, really? Social media marketing. Yeah, 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 man. Um, about... 15 years ago, I got hit with a disability. Uh, Wait, I'm sorry, did you say 50 or 15? 15. Oh, 15, I think you said 50. I was going to say, fuck, uh, about, good for 90. About 15, yeah, but <laughs> cut, a long, cut a long and very boring story short. Um, I got hit with a disability, and it changed the way I had to do things. I had to become self-employed. I had to quickly think on my feet on what to do. And from there, I've been literally just creating businesses, if that failed, I'm moving to something else. But it's always been around marketing. So I've created, I've got a business which is marketing, which is why at the moment I'm struggling making pre-recorded content because of all this stuff with Corona, every one of my clients is panicking like mad. Oh, we need this, we need this, we need this, which is taking up 16 hours every day of my time. Ooh. So that's why I've been doing a lot more lives than actually pre-recorded stuff. If I could give you any advice... I, and I feel like I, I know this field pretty well. Uh, live content is always the easiest to make. 
It's always mm. the easiest because it's off the cuff, it's improv, but there's a lot of dry space. Live videos will never get views like you did as if they were pre-recorded, which is why which, I've already, already which is out, why yeah. YouTube made the premiere function because they wanted it to be a live type of setting and well, you to interact with them. But doing live videos will never ever ever bring people to your channel as if it was pre-recorded. Just remember. And, and you're right. You're right. Remember it's that. just with the the way things are at the moment, obviously I've got to pay the bills. Sure. And and it's with when you're doing 16 hour days with your business, it doesn't leave a lot of time for anything, um, which is why at night time it's just easy to go live. But it's all calming down now. All me, you know, I've, I've handed out the Xanax, all my clients are like calming down a bit. So it's just, it's, it, I, we can get back, to, I can get back to actually making recorded reviews again, which is, which is nice because I miss doing it. Um, but I've also got a few other things in the pipeline which are coming through. Um, but the, the straight fact is, is I prefer making. Um, recorded content because I can edit out all my cock-ups. Ah. <laughs> Whereas on live, it's like, oh shit, that was burnt me thumb. You know what I mean? Right. I look like an idiot. Right, no, I get it. I get it. Well, it'd be a real cool feature for YouTube to add to some type of platform, like, which is really nice about like Twitch and shit. And I hope YouTube watches this. Uh, and I'm sure they will when I ask them to monetize it. But uh, the... When you go live on Twitch, it's a really cool feature. So you could be going live and then you talk about something. You can add stream markers. So what it mm. is, is I could be talking about, I, I don't know. what. Let, let's just say we start talking about the Jenna RTA. Right now, I can add a stream marker. And then when I'm done, from where I start a stream marker and end it, it creates a clip already. Right? Like, that, oh, that should be. be if you did that. The, Twitch has that. It does, It's not a thing you on YouTube. You have to upload right to YouTube, too, which is yeah. cool. Yeah, which is, but I don't know why YouTube doesn't do that. Like, I don't know what the fuck they're doing with the platform. Dude, YouTube just sucks, man. Their whole live <laughs> platform is so bad. The monetizing is bad. Yep. It's just, there's a monopoly. The disconnects monopoly. are bad. I yeah. fucking great stream, but yeah, the, <laughs> shitty connection. Keep pedaling, Bree. Keep pedaling. <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. Bree passed out, <laughs> so the internet's going to go down shortly. She's on the fucking floor, drooling. <laughs> Uh, yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, you know, there's so many, but the thing is, man, it's like now you have all the censorship going on. You got to watch what you say. It's just getting worse and worse, especially oh, and with it's politics. Get a lot, it'll get a lot worse now. A lot. I'm not going to get, no, not going to get political because it'll get your channel shut down. Nope. No, I ain't going to get my channel shut down. I, I know what to do with this video. I'm, I'm politics. The, the problem you have with politics, Vic is I don't have a problem talking about them. It's other people get upset when you talk about it because they don't get to put a yeah. word in. That's yeah. what happens. You know, because they don't they don't agree with your opinion. They they you know you want to make fun of somebody, whatever. It's just saying I, right I, now I where where it's at. Look, I I, I, got, I, 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 I I I'm sorry. Go ahead. Are we breaking up? What happened? You said no. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. You know, I I tell you straight up right now. Like I got nothing but love for Trump. I want I wanted Trump to win, but I can tell you right now that Trump didn't win. Like he 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 needs to, to, to uh, he doesn't need to concede. He just it's over. Like it. But it's then over. again, yeah. then again, what you can do is flip it round. Trump didn't win, but technically speaking, the Democrats didn't win either. They got the presidency, but the Republicans held the Senate. The Senate. And by the looks of it, the, by the looks of it, the Democrats have lost a big majority in the house in the house yeah but a they're still big a majority. majority in the but house they're still they're still a majority um, no they're still a majority but right. a very slim one well, now. The, well the fact of the matter is is look i i again getting into politics is rough man uh but <laughs> it, it's very rough on a vape channel because some people have no idea what the fuck you're talking about i just want people to understand <laughs> i'm just i'm just gonna tell people this and i'm gonna break this down for you real simple it's real simple i whether you like politics or not it's this simple Kamala Harris is responsible <laughs> responsible for partial of the PMTA process of the FDA. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell you? If you're a vapor, as what your if you believe in Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, hey, more power to you. Whatever. Whatever the fuck. I don't care. I'm right down the middle. All I'm saying is if Biden wants to, when he comes into office, which he's going to, and he says, shut vaping down, here's an executive order, uh, your PMTA process doesn't matter. Nothing matters. That's all I'm saying. That's, all right, that's, good bat. That's, that's all I'm saying. You can argue that all you want. You go for it. You're, you're oh, not going to win this. Right at the good bit as well. 
what happened? Oh, there is. He's back. But yeah, I mean, the, this. The, the, Did oh, you lose me again? He, he's back. He's back. He's back. Okay. You're yeah, you were breaking up a bit there, oh. but th- this is this is what I was saying. The very beginning of January, I, 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 I like to do a video on my channel, which is the Hump Day Update. I give out vaping news, just general news about what's going on in the vaping industry. And I remember the first Hump Day Update that I brought out, I got fucking slammed for it because I said this. <laughs> If a Democratic president gets into the White House, your industry will shut down. If it's Joe Biden, your industry will shut down. Yep. I had no idea he was going to pick Kamala Harris. She's the same senator <laughs> that wrote to the FDA yeah, and I just told said. the... Did it break what? up when I just said all that? You didn't hear me say any of all that? What you said? Yeah, no, you, you broke up. You, oh. you decided to break. Wow, that sucks. I just said exactly what you just said. That's, I'll I'll just repeat it for you. No, then. yeah, because if you didn't if you didn't hear it, then nobody else did. So fuck it, go for it. <laughs> so it's but I think she, the audience she, did hear it though. I, I think you don't pick up for the audience. What? Okay, and disconnected, and should reconnect. This fucking no. cat. There it goes. Back connected yeah. again. Okay. Um. Just so don't have on a slightly different, I don't understand these people that get irate when their opinion doesn't match yours. Um, I don't what are we talking that. about, reviews or just in general? No, just like when you're on about the politics stuff, we're like Vic getting slammed because of his opinions and stuff. I, or, or even on your channel, when you're giving an opinion on political, vaping, whatever, people lose their mind and it's like, oh yeah, they do. It's just his opinion. What's, what's the problem? You know, I, I disagree. I think it's always been like this. It's just now everything is so political. Like the, mm-hmm. the the rule was you never talk about politics or religion at the dinner. Or money. You just never or money. Or money. Yep. Or money. Yeah. Topics because it always turned into a fight. But now with social media and everything, everything is fucking political. It just has gotten to like this mass, you know, critical state where everything is just so volatile. Mm-hmm. I, I do think it people are starting to get sick of it. Like I know I get sick. I see it all the time, all day. And it just gets like irritating just seeing kind of just like bickering constantly about the same topics over and over again. And I do think ho- hopefully in the next few years that starts to slow down. But uh, but then again, that like polit- political streams, like political commentators have never done better. Like it's such a good oh, yeah. time. To get oh, they're, they're fucking they are. They are. <laughs> I look at their numbers, Wayne, and I'm like, God. Duh. Like I think yeah. Stephen Crowder and Hassan Piker, which is the left of yeah. Stephen Crowder, yeah. they were rivaling Fox News and CNN during the election yeah. in terms of numbers. Yeah. Yep. That's yeah. fucking insane. Well, Independent. You know so they Shapiro don't they take all do. that money in. Well, Ben Shapiro wants to create his own news network. Like he wants to yep. replace. And I see that happening. I see that because I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to. See, I don't know if you guys watch me like on my other channel. I am very center. I'm not left. I'm not right. I am I'm quite literally yes. dead ass center. Like, I, I support the president, whoever the fuck that is. Obviously, I chose Trump over Biden because Biden can't finish a fucking sentence. That's all. That's my <laughs> argument. Like, that's that's my that's nothing else needs to be said there. Quite literally. Uh, but but and you're you're right though, Wayne. You're right that that a lot of people you start talking about politics, people get excited. They start saying that your opinion is wrong. The the in the media, the fact of the matter is, when you look at it, the fact of the matter is the media is what won Biden his presidency. Yeah, it's that fucking absolutely. It is that simple. Like that, you he could have just sat in his basement, never opened his mouth. And the media is going to run with that, and they got it. It'd have probably done a better job if you had. Yeah, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't tell you how many people this pisses me off. We're going to get into politics now. It is what it is. This pisses me <laughs> off is when people say I voted oh, for Biden. Wait, I voted for Biden because I don't like Trump. Really? Why don't you like Trump? What what part of his policies? I just don't like him. Oh, you don't care about the policies or or anything that he's done. You just care that you don't like him. That is the yeah. dumbest fucking argument ever. Like it, it is. It really is. You vote for the policy and and what they're going for, not what type of attitude they have. Like you, what? I, I'd rather someone go into a fight, cocky as shit, being able to fight, than someone that just is a puppet. I, I don't know. I that's that's I mean, why I'm he, out in he, politics. 
here's the scary thing for someone sitting over here in the United Kingdom. I'm going to look at this from a vaping perspective, right? Mm. The politics side of things. Sure. All the advocates and advocate groups over in the United States are saying this. This is a. Th- this has got nothing to do with politics. It's got everything to do with Absolutely politics. Does. And here's the big problem that the U.S. is now facing. You had the left leaning. You had the left-leaning vape advocates and vape advocate groups who were all saying, especially some of the groups who were all saying, vote for Biden, we've got a better chance. No, you don't, but go ahead and vote for him anyway. (laughs) And now they're saying, and and I'm seeing it all over Twitter. Fucking Twitter is just a mess right now because they're all tweeting Joe Biden saying, Mr. Biden, sir, look at the Royal College of Physicians, Public (laughs) Health England, 95% safer. (laughs) Look at the UK government, the Conservative UK government love vaping. Number one, Joe Biden is Irish descent. He hates the UK. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even think about that. Number two, not only does Joe Biden not like the UK, he detests the Conservative government. Now Absolutely. what you're doing as a US advocate is saying to Joe Biden, here's something that's got Boris Johnson's name on it and the Conservative government letterhead at the uh, top uh, supporting <laughs> vaping. What is Boris Johnson? What What is he more, Republican or Democrat? What, he's, what is he well, a, in, in, a, in, a, in a US context, Republican. It's, he's, he's Republican, more Republican. leaning towards the Conservative mm. side. Yeah. yeah, so Biden ain't going to like it anyway. So. <laughs> Not going to like him. Not going to like no. it one bit. But Biden's definitely more of, of a moderate than he is. I mean, he just uh, admitted yes. like, a bunch of Republican, like old school neocons to his cabinet. And I think there is more of like him down the middle than there's a lot of what Trump tried to do is paint him as like this far left AOC sure. type politician, sure. which he's not. He's like sure. an old school. He's kind of a Republican, really. Uh, I don't he's know. old school Democrat. But you don't yeah, think don't he's going to be a gonna fucking be puppet, Wayne, for what real? What would you say? You don't think he's going to be a fucking puppet, for real? Oh, no, that's why he was elected, is because he's going to be a puppet. Right. He's yeah. going to be a puppet until Kamala can make sure that he's deemed as insane. I don't think it's going to be <laughs> Kamala pulling the strings. That's where I disagree with a lot of people. I think it's going to be whoever the Democratic Party is. Puppet. I get what you're saying, and I totally agree. Yeah. And then totally the old agree. school uh, Democrats. Whoever wins that, that's who's gonna. You I know, totally agree. That's who Joe Biden I totally. I, I think she's, she's. And then the same kind of going on the right. Also going to be a puppet. Both of them. I agree. Hundred percent. Say that again. You broke up. I said I agree that she's gonna be a puppet. hundred <laughs> percent. She's about five minutes away from going. Fuck this. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. If yeah, I, broke up. Did you get me? Did you catch it? No. Everybody? No. We just. Okay. Yeah. Bye. No. Okay. I said that You're she's gonna be a puppet. I agree with you hundred percent that she's gonna do everything that she's told to do. The same as what Biden will do. Yeah, what I think is interesting about politics is like the right, it has the old school Republicans versus the new school, like Trump's Trump politics. And right. then you have on the left, like the AOC politics yeah. versus the old school Democrats. Whoever wins, like I'm betting money that like the 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 centrist, the moderates, the old school politicians are yeah. going to win that. They have a lot of the establishment money. I mean, they just always kind of pull the strings. They have all of the fucking, like, the DOJ. They have all of the Homeland Security in their pocket. It's just going to be interesting to see if, in terms of, like, the vaping industry, can we separate ourselves no fucking from a, being a political issue? Nope. No yeah, chance. I don't no. know if it's possible, but Come on, there's really Wayne. no choice. You can't, Come on. you can't rely on being a party, a partisan issue because every four years you're going to be worried your industry is going to No, I agree. I agree about the partisan issue. I 100% agree, but I will say this. That Biden made it very clear that he will, this is his verbiage, I'm, I'm going to paraphrase, uh, but he made it very clear that he will ban vaping until scientific evidence proves otherwise. Those are his yep. fucking words, right? So do I think that Biden's going to do it? Honestly, I think it's going to be very low on his priority scale. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I think he's going to be more worried about taking his dementia medicine. That's me personally. Uh, but I, I'm just saying as far as, I, I, I don't I don't know. I, I, I don't want to say one is better than the other. I'm just saying that for if we're talking about for the vaping industry, Democrats and, and you're right, it is bipartisan. Both Democrats and Republicans do not like vaping. I wholeheartedly agree. I'm just saying that more Democrats hate vaping. Look at all the flavors that were banned in all these different states, all by Democratic states, except for one, right. which is Massachusetts, which That's is the- that That's guy's where the Democrat. Fight is the state. The, the governor governors Baker? are going to be the ones to, yep. to ban. 
yeah, G- Governor Baker is a Democrat. I don't give a fuck what he labels himself as. Is what he is. Uh, here's here, what you he, here's what you need to do, Jay and Wayne. You need to move over here to the UK. That's what you need to do. <laughs> oh, I would absolutely. You sadistic bastard. Why would you suggest that? You know what I actually <laughs> want to do. <laughs> you, you know what I want to do over UK that I think is very open, beautiful weather, great people. Uh, South Africa. I oh, swear South to God. Africa's- I love South Africa. Like Cape Town? Woo! Good weather no. as well down there. Oh. Uh, too hot for me. Too that's hot for me. Yeah, it's yeah. a bit hot. For me, where I would hot. like to. <laughs> where I would like to move to? New Zealand. That's what I would like yeah, to do. Yeah, they have to speak English well. wherever I'm going. Like, that's got to be the goal. Like, <laughs> if I have to learn your language, I don't want to go. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't. If I was going to move anywhere, it'd have to be somewhere where it's too cold for spiders to fuck with you. <laughs> oh, you're, one yeah. of those sp- you're a spider bitch? You're scared of spiders? Yeah, my no, I don't do spiders. No. Wait, I'm sorry. I would, ta- I would take on the whole Zulu army before I took on a spider. Bro, you're 500 pounds and you're scared of something that weighs less than a gram. Yeah, he's he's quicker cool. than me. I don't like anything that's quicker than me. He's wow. too, I, well, I'm not fast in the actions, you know what I mean? Right. If one of them comes for me, I'm off. No, oh, burn it with fire. I'm off. <laughs> Burn the whole house down. Yeah, not move. That's it. I'm off. <laughs> We're moving. In this country, we're quite lucky with that because spiders aren't too bad. But if I were to move to somewhere like Australia, oh, forget where it. Where them bastards sit in your toilets and wait for you? No, 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 no chance. I'd just screw that. If I went to the toilet, opened the seat, and saw an eight-legged, eight-eyed bastard staring at me, that's that'd be it. I'd never go to college again. <laughs> It just bloody no chance. I did love the UK when I when I was there uh, the last time. It was fucking. I would love to move there. It's a nice, but if you can get if you anywhere north of Watford, you're fine. Because um, we're nice sort of people. If you start yeah, going I south, of, not, yeah. If you yeah, start going south of Watford, that's when they start getting all prissy and all the toffs and all that crap. No, man. Yeah. They're, they're all what, 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 what country is Isle of Man part of? Scotland. No, this UK is its own. It's its own country. Yeah, it's uh, the Isle of Man, Isle of Wight, as a UK crown dependency. So the, it's, it's got its as. own government. Technically, yeah. Really? Yeah, Isle of Isle of Man, Isle of Wight, the Jersey Isles, so the, the yeah. little islands that okay. are just Jersey. north of France. They're all crown dependencies. They've they've kind of got their own government. But the British government just throws the money now and again to keep them going. So, like, like let's just use the vape laws, right? Do they apply to those to those aisles or no? Technically, no. Yeah, in in the same way, they have different tax laws and stuff. Yep. Huh. Wow. That is interesting. Yeah, yeah Isle of Man is nice. I thought it was always part of Scotland, though. I don't know why. I thought it was. No, it's well. That's it's, like all the islands and all that. They're all part of Scotland. <laughs> yeah, it's all the northern islands like Shetland, Orkney, the Inner Hebrides, the but Outer Hebrides. But it's called the shit, though, right? You got mountains and shit. Oh yeah, we got fucking loads of mountains up here. <laughs> I, I loads of fucking. You got more I mountains than you do people. Like <laughs> <laughs> Scotland is such a weird place, man. I had to repossess a car from. For every one also. person is eight mountains. <laughs> like, a, a play, in a place called Kenny Cray. We went, we went past, we went past Glasgow, or Glasgow, and we drove for hours and hours and hours. And there was nothing and nobody apart from one butty shack in the mountains on his own. And I, and I was astounded that someone thought of me to put a butty shack there. But the fact that this butty shack was on its own, it's such a weird place. That is. Yeah, but you have like no infrastructure. Like your toilet is in your living room, and you. <laughs> And then, like, when when you say these shacks that are like in the middle of the woods, I feel like they have no running water. They have to go to the river. Like, I just, I don't, that to me would never work. Like, I've got to at least have a flushable toilet. I don't want to dump a pot of shit in the ocean. Like, I just, (laughs) that's how I feel like you live, like in goats and and sheep and shit. Oh, there's lots of sheep. And goats, right? Like, you got those goats. Yeah, and llamas. No, man, fuck all that. I might as well go live at the zoo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to wanna do any of that. A, a, a lot of Scottish people aren't far from barnyard animals. 
<laughs> and it's not, it's not, it's not very populated though, right? Like there's not a lot of people that live there. Like I, I can and you, Scotland. Can you name one famous singer or group from Scotland? Just one. The Proclaimers. Yep. Yeah, oh, the Proclaimers. Okay. Okay. Ed Sheeran, I think, is Irish. Right? Yeah, I think he's Irish. Irish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you see, I the I island island is basically full of people who lived in Scotland and wanted to go somewhere more wet. Wait, can you name somebody so else besides I... the Proclaimers? Anybody else? I don't know. Run rug. Who is it? Rug rug. Run rug. Run rug. Also don't know who that is. Don't know what that is. Can you give me something else? <laughs> Famous <laughs> Scottish singers. Annie Lennox. Yeah, Annie Lennox. Yeah, who the fuck is that? I don't know who that is either. Oh, of course oh, you come do. on. You must know who Annie is. Annie oh, Lennox? That Lennox sounds like a, like a... Like I don't a, know who she is. Oh, bloody hell, man. <laughs> no, I, don't, I got not... Can you Annie give me something mainstream? Annie Lennox sung one of the most infamous, infamous 80s songs ever. I put a spell on you. She sung that song. Oh. I put a spell oh. on you. What? That no. One? <laughs> the, you guys are... The, the thing is, I should have put more Americans on here. Because now that I got you people from from the island of UK, you guys are saying bands and shit that nobody else can validate. Like you're the. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so but what do you spell. got from UK? You got the Beatles, right? Like that. That is kind of your. That's your thing, right? The Beatles. Oh, and the Rolling Stones and Pink Floyd and exactly. a whole bunch so, of others. The what? Jam. The Jam. Oh, the jam. oh Pink yeah. Floyd. I didn't even think about Pink Floyd. Yeah, good. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> The UK, the UK music scene has always been, especially around now the you just have a tell, area, right? has always been strong. Oh, yeah. Always yeah. been strong. What, music? I mean, some of the greatest artists ever. Get the fuck <laughs> out of here! You are out so <laughs> damn mine. The greatest artist ever. Bro, come some on. The Shut the ever fuck came up. From the, came from the UK. Get the fuck. I mean, we're not talking Marvin Gaye or Willie Nelson here, but you know. What, what, are, what are you saying, like rock bands? There was some, there was some inspirational rock bands back in the seventies and eighties. Well, okay, but when you're saying, when no, hold on, you can't backtrack from that. You said some of the best ever recording artists. That's what you said. Yep. Oh, yeah. Michael Jackson. You had Michael Jackson. End of story. That's ours. <laughs> hold, on, take hold, that on. One. hold on, hold on, hold on. Did take Michael, did, 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 did Michael Jackson ever hold in the Billboard Top 100, the Top 100 singles charts, did Michael Jackson ever hold the number one, number two, number three, number four, and number five spot in the Billboard charts? No, he didn't. No, he so held the top four, though. Top four. So he never that... held the top five. Well, what the fuck? Who did? The Beatles? In Is the that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In 1936, when they had fucking horns to play? Get the yeah, fuck was... out of here. No, but like... What did you have? Eight songs ever in the world? Of course they're going to be the top five. There's only three other songs. <laughs> <laughs> now, look, look. I, I'm not, I don't want to take away from the Beatles. The Beatles, look, I, 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 great song for people that like it, but that's not... That's not really my my type of genre. I, I don't really like the Beatles. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm I don't. Big, what guy. is it? Ba Paperback Ridge or, or Paperback Bitch? What is that song? Paperback. Pa <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Paper Paperback. Paperback boy? writer. That's it. And Ru Ruby Rigby or something or <laughs> Eleanor Rigby. Eleanor, yeah, Eleanor <laughs> Rigby. Is that the song? Or what's the one that the little Asian kid sings with the guitar? What's the what's the song? What the, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the little one with the little Korean? Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know. He sings a song. What's a song? Do they say a girl's name? Uh, da, da, da. So, the Beatles song. It says, it says a girl name. What's what's the song? Dude. Uh, hey Jude. Hey Jude. Yeah, little Asian kid. I don't know. That's how I know Damn. the song. I just, it's just not for me. Def Leppard. Like that's the type of music that I can get down to. The Beatles. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on the rock type of thing, so it's a little bit hard for me to choose English band. I mean, I, I like Metallica, Five Finger Death Punch, um, you know, all, all those sorts of bands. Uh, right. Especially, oh, some of the Metallica songs, the iconic. Right. Yeah, Metallica. That's not British, though. No, of course it's not. I never oh. said it was. I just said that. <laughs> oh, okay. Because you said the best artist ever. I mean, Whitney Houston, not said, British. Yeah, there are. If you look at the different, that's areas, Canadian. Uh, can you can you name just one good one singer non band out of like all star out of UK? I, I'm gonna give you the whole the whole region. Freddie Mercury. 
Yes. You okay? Yes. I'm gonna give you that one. hundred percent. You got that. That, I, that. Second best. Both of them. I like. Give me second best. Give me because <laughs> I'm gonna give you Freddie Mercury. <laughs> give me somebody else besides Queen. I have to go back. But he's not solo though. That's not, solo, That's not fair. That's not fair because Freddie Mercury's in solo. He, I mean, he could have done solo, but. He, he was did part of Queen. Some solo songs, though. Yes, yes. I, I don't want to tell. Look, Freddie Mercury, best singer ever. I, without a doubt, without a doubt. But give me be. somebody else, like besides that, him. That, that sounds Ed Sheeran's always been pretty. Get hard. the fuck out! True. Come on. Yeah, True. you can't say he's not been a, a well-selling singer. Elvis Presley. He's like the best. Michael. Franklin, Another one, Michael. George Michael. Wait, say that again so they can hear it. So, so top five singers, I guess this is like a global. I've the best singers of all time. Yep. It says Freddie Mercury, Elvis Presley, Aretha Franklin, Michael Jackson, Mariah Carey, Frank Sinatra. So all but one of those are American. Uh, sorry, Joe Biden rigged that. <laughs> <laughs> the polls are wrong. Recount. Recount the polls again, because that's wrong. I need it. I need it certified. <laughs> We're so, talking singers per capita. Obviously, the U.S. Prince was produce ours. more. Well, no, yeah. Prince. Prince was actually obvious. UK. What isn't Prince UK? Wasn't American Prince singer and songwriter? No, I'm not that's sure. Prince was American. I think Prince was born in UK. Uh, nope, born in Minnesota. Minnesota. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but he's got very. He's very feminine, though. He's very prissy. I wouldn't consider. Tell you what, the one person out of that list that I absolutely adore is Aretha Franklin. What a voice she is. Yeah, great voice. Great, very yeah. underrated. Uh, very underrated. People will always say that Whitney's better. Aretha Franklin got some pipes, boy. Aretha, Aretha Franklin. Oh, Jesus. I could listen. Sorry about that. David Go Bowie. Franklin. Yeah, Tetley Man typed in David Bowie. How we can yeah. we forget about Bowie? Fucking hell. Just Morrissey. What does that tell you, uh, though? That Morrissey's you for- a fucking a- Dick, What does that Morrissey. tell you if you forgot about David Bowie? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> if you forgot about him, there's your answer. That's why, because he sucks. Uh, that's. <laughs> I, I've got three cousins who I don't know what the names are. I'm <laughs> shy with names. Phil Collins. That's, Jim that's, with, uh, that's not UK. Phil Collins. There. He's United States. Jim Morris. No, Collins is British, isn't he? Uh, Phil Collins was part of Genesis. That's UK. Wait, where was yeah. Phil Collins born? I'm looking it up. No. Yeah, man. They're just naming singers now. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're just naming random people. <laughs> <laughs> Billy Ray Cyrus. Nope, that's American. <laughs> yeah, he's a yeah, he is a drummer. He's a drummer by default. Oh. He was a backup singer. Phil Collins? Oh yeah. What about stereophonics? I don't know what the fuck that is. Band. That sounds like something you would plug into your radio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean you just don't you just don't think of like uh, and I don't want to take it away from UK. You just don't think of like big celebrities from UK. When I think of UK, for whatever reason, I think of crabs. I don't know why, even though that's French. But crabs, yeah, oh, crabs, thin pancakes. Yeah, crabs. Yeah, French. crabs is it? That's yeah. French, isn't it? Yeah, crabs. Yeah, cre- crepes are French. Crabs. It's crabs. <laughs> did you did you say creeps with the C? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> you could have just said crepe with a... Okay, I got it. I got it. All right. So I've been saying it wrong. I thought it was crepes. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm just saying when you think about big things, you don't think about UK. It's just... I, I, I don't... No, we're a tiny island that dominated the world, so everybody hates us. And everybody yeah, exactly. About. Exactly. We're did a tiny know, island that dominated you know the world for over music? 200 years. Do you know who created music? Like the first song? Bet you don't know that one. No? You're damn right I don't know it. Yeah. Somebody bored, I'm guessing. I, I, I bet you wouldn't know that answer. Well, music's been going since medieval times, so the guarantee. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not talking about like Jesus Christ era, like sing, sitting around by God and singing a song. <laughs> I'm talking about. Like, <laughs> no, I'm talking about like, a, like an actual song like that is played. Throughout the world, like where, like a, like a song, like a song, song. You know what I'm saying? Like a written s- song. You got. Who, 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 <laughs> uh, you know, you guys got, you guys got Simon Cowell, that has turned into a, a, a bitch, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ever since he had kids, he has become the nicest fucking judge ever. 
I mean, he's so sensitive. He's so now. bullshit. Sa Simon Cow gets on my nerves like you wouldn't believe. But he used to be so aggressive and so good. Like you suck. That's it. Now he used to be like, honest. With a little he bit of polishing, you could be good. Like don't don't be nice. He's afraid of cancel culture. That's what it is. He's he afraid is. of giving an opinion in case cancel culture comes after him. Because if he gives an opinion to someone of a let let's say they get some eleven year old doesn't know what to identify themselves as oh, okay. gender neutral someone, and he turns around which he's shit, he will get grief for attacking that person. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. You're right. So I, I, in one way, I understand why he's being a baby bitch, but on the other hand, <laughs> I, I get you know, <laughs> If it was me, I'd sit there and go, look, love, with all due respect, fuck off. Paperback <laughs> bitch. Paperback bitch. That's it. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, that, that's why he's not... Because you got to understand, when he's doing something like Britain's Got Talent, which he's shown to millions of viewers, you're guaranteed that a percentage of those viewers are just waiting for him to say something that they can attack him for. Oh, that's true. That's true. 100%. Yeah. I mean, it's all right me sat here with, like, 80-odd subs going, I don't give a shit what I say. Because <laughs> it doesn't matter if I get cancelled tomorrow, but someone like Simon Cowell, who his whole industry, his whole living is made up from his, you know, from what he does. Yeah, but you can't say that he hasn't changed his path. If you look at what he used to be and you look mm -hmm. at what he is now, he is a totally different person. Totally That's because different. because society's changed. Mm. You, I yeah, but you shouldn't the, change the, who you are because of society. Society should just adapt to who you are, not, not force you right. to be somebody else. But if that's going to affect how you pay the bills on a monthly basis, you're then going to change it. But I'm watching... That's called a fucking car sellout, Mr. B. That's what that is. It is. You don't rise to That's a fucking now, sellout. I'm watching a show... Uh, we, we have a car show here called Top Gear. And I was watching some from back in 2012 where they were making um, gay jokes and all this sort of stuff, which this if that had been on TV now, it would be outrage. Well, it's oh, just yeah. like Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder, you ever seen that movie? You put yeah, that man. you put that out in the movies today. Oh my god. Oh my god. The biggest one of the greatest movies ever made. So <laughs> what Tropic <laughs> Thunder? You played a dude. Oh yeah, my god, yo. So good. You never go full retard. Like that's it. Like <laughs> 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 But that's you, why Simon Cowell's changed. Because he's had to. Because yeah, but no, I don't I don't agree. Now, I did you don't you don't that I don't is, agree with it. What'd you say, Wayne? I said I don't agree either. I don't I, I don't agree. I don't. I don't think that's why he changed. I think he changed because of age. I think that he's just become more mellowed. You mean he's he's smoking more reefers now, so he's a bit more mellow. No, I think he's just he's just he's just getting old, and he just doesn't want to be as aggressive as what it was like. He got to where he needed to go, and now it's just time to put the feet up. I don't think it's the culture that that changed him. I I can tell you that he changed, uh, and I much prefer the old one versus the new one but it, it's just like me i was more aggressive in older videos and the more videos i do i get i'm i'm more passive you just i, you I just... wouldn't say you're more passive you yeah, so oh, <laughs> breeze passing out breeze passing out she keeps fucking passing out on the <laughs> Fucking but yeah i would i wouldn't say i wouldn't say you're less aggressive i see you're more focused with the things that you're picking out. Yeah. Because uh, the I, older I, videos, it was... Ah! It was just it was like a lot focused. of a pent-up aggression. I felt like I had to prove myself <laughs> to the world. That's what it was. See, I still now, I mean, even today, I still go back to some of your old videos with like when you had all the drama with the vaping postman and everything. I still sit there and laugh my tits off heartily at how mad <laughs> you used to get over shit like that. And... <laughs> Yeah, it's not old videos. Old, yeah, look, old videos are more comical. New videos are just straight to the point. Like that, that's just it. It's that simple. Wayne, are we boring you? So, because I guess one of your fans says we're boring you. <laughs> <laughs> one of your fans are getting a little upset that you're not putting in input. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to my fan. Who's who said that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, William Spencer said that. That uh, we're we're boring the fuck out of you because we're old and you're young. We're out of shape and you're fit. You're good looking and we're ugly. So, so he just basically made fun of the whole panel except for you. So apparently you're either sucking his dick 
or you're giving them free <laughs> recipes. Uh, I got it. Yeah, that's what it is. I'm giving them recipes <laughs> under the table. That's where that's where pineapple cream soda came from. We know. We know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> got it from him. <laughs> so are you, are you, uh, your recipes, Jay? Is that what you're saying? Yes. I said that. I, well, I, I tried telling answer. people that. Internet, uh, no, you can't that one. I can't up. with this fucking internet anymore. <laughs> I am so done with this. Guys, listen. Thank you all for showing up. I, I cannot. I can't keep getting disconnected. It's losing my fucking mind. Tell people where to find you. Vic, start it off. We got to sum this up. I can't lose it. You can find me. You can Very find good. me at youtube.com forward slash vaping with Vic. Very good. Do it yourself or die. Tell them what you, where you're from, where you're at, and that you got to go. DIYDieVaping.com. Just go there. All my stuff's there. You have Thank to you pay too. a monthly subscription, though, to join it. Just It's a paywall. <laughs> uh, Mr. B? Yeah, you can, if you just search on YouTube, Mr. B, Vape It, you will find me. Um, I don't have my own URL yet because I don't have 100 subs. Right. Oh. Yep. Oh, help this guy oh, out. Get him a URL. Everybody go some. You have 108 right now, so you can actually. <laughs> <laughs> did you, did you wow. guys just feel the earthquake in UK when he just shook his body like that? <laughs> Fucking a Richter scale. Um, all right, you guys. Sorry, I got to cut out. You guys stay around for Skype afterwards. But everybody, I, I, I can't deal with these connection issues. It's driving me fucking crazy. Too much of a delay. Thank you all for watching. Stay beautiful. Remember, someone loves you, and it's none of us.